So hello everyone, welcome to my channel Football Life Talk. So here again I am with another video. So today's video is based on transfer talks. So every football fan is waiting for the summer transfer window to come in. It is very close. And the clubs are also so much now they are like they are wanting some good players to uh, to boost their squad for the next season because next season will be very rocking and after seeing some of the transfer rumors we can say the next season will be so much rocking so much fun to watch next season yeah and some young talents have emerged so the uh, transfers will be also so great and so first the first news this is not the transfer talk the first news is that Chelsea have got a new owner. They have found a new owner. So after this hard, hard time they have faced the like from the government and now they have find, found a new owner. So now Chelsea can do some good transfers. They are talking with the government after uh, the, it is done with the government and if the government allows, now Chelsea can then renew contracts and sign contracts. And see, they have lost two great defenders, uh, like good defenders in their squad like Christiansen and Antonio Rudiger, so I think they don't want to lose any some more players. So they have now, they are now safe now in safer hands. Now they can call the fans in the home stadium. We have some uh, like there were some issues when uh, like they could not give tickets to their home fans, and that was the main problem. And now everything I think it will be solved. They have found new owners. So let's jump into the transfer talks. So the first, the most. You can see the most heated transfer is Haaland's transfer to Man City. Yes, it is a done deal. Haaland's transfer to Man City. Only uh, the on personal terms, the uh, like the contract has been accept, accepted by Man City and agreed on a personal term. And Haaland's uh, release clause will be paid by Man City. Man City have agreed to pay the release clause, and they will uh, also give the uh, salary. The salary card is still not known. It is unknown and. Yeah, it's a good transfer for Man City. Man City were wanting a number 9 to join their team. They were wanting a number 9 to join their team. And now they finally have a proper number 9 who can score more goals. And this youngster will prove to be a great player in Man City. I, for me, I think in Premier League, you need good strikers, good goal scorers. So this is a very good uh, transfer, Haaland's transfer. And Haaland, this season, he had only 23 appearances. Okay, total 23 appearances. 23 in Bundesliga. Yeah, 23 appearances in Bundesliga and you see also he played some of the matches and total in this season he scored 33 goals with 7 assists. So good numbers, the numbers of uh, the figures are very good. He is a good player, we have seen him, uh, he has proved himself that he is a good player and and the main thing is Phil Ford and Haaland will re means they will unite together two great youngsters of this generation the, who are uplifting football and they are playing so good. So they, it will be a good balanced team for Man City now. Man City are going to boost their squad. Already they have a very good squad. Still they cannot win the Champions League for two consecutive seasons. And now like they are so close to the Champions League final and for winning also in the last season and this year to the Champions League final. And now Man City can try to win Champions League. It will be a dream for the fans to win the Champions League because such a great club with no uh, UCL title. It, uh, it is not good, right? You have a great club, great money, great owner. You have to win a UCL title. Okay. So let's jump into the next transfer talk. The next transfer talk is another of another youngster, Karim Ademi, the German footballer, who was playing uh, Red Bull Salzburg, Red Bull Salzburg, the Austrian club. Now he has agreed to join Borussia Dortmund. Now Borussia Dortmund, see if Haaland goes to Man City, Haaland will go to Man City. <coughs> Excuse me. Haaland will go to Man City and. Haaland will be replaced by Karim Ademi on Borussia Dortmund. So I don't think Borussia Dortmund will face a huge problem. They will now get a good striker. This striker is also very good. He has scored 21 goals and given 5 assists this season, the whole season. So this is another good transfer of Karim Ademi. This transfer will be another great, great success for Borussia Dortmund, I think. And for Paul Pogba, the Manchester United midfielder, he, he will leave the summer this time. and. He, he told that he will leave and you know, he did not tell like the rumors are there that he will leave this summer his contract run out in runs out this summer and he uh, man city offered him a contract but he rejected man city so that's done paul Fuba rejected man city okay now arsenal arsenal are willing to sign Raheem sterling the man city player who is having i think a great season in man city <coughs> 
who is having a great season in Man City, and he's a good player, good you can say a good striker and uh, mainly a winger, winger kind of player. He's a good player. And Arsenal, uh, Arsenal are uh, finding a way to sign Raheem Sterling. He is uh, he's on their transfer list, on their topmost priorities for transfer in the summer window. And there, Arsenal are also the Gunners are also looking for midfielder. And the best, uh, the rumor which have more priorities like Yuri Telemann, Telemann of Leicester City. Telemann of Leicester is a Belgian international. Many top clubs have approached him for joining their club, but uh, still uh, he rejected a contract from Leicester City and still now he has not agreed on uh, on with any of the clubs on a personal basis or on a, on a permanent deal, but uh, it's not done till yet with any other club and uh, like Telemans, uh, the Arsenal are willing to sign Telemans, Yuri Telemans from Leicester City. It's another rumor which can be finally permanent for them, permanent permanent deal for them. Arsenal, they are in the fourth place in the uh, Premier League table. I think this time they will play the UCL next season and it will be a great thing for them if they get a good midfielder and Raheem Sterling. The squad will boost, uh, the squad will be boosted and they will I think they can try to be one of the best clubs in Europe. Once they were the best clubs in Europe, uh, one of the best clubs in Europe, but again, they can come to that position. So let's jump into uh, La Liga news and Real Betis, the club who is fight, this club which fight, I mean, they are fighting very hard to uh, go to the Champions League zone, but I think it will not be uh, possible for them, but they won the Copa del Rey this season. And Real Betis are willing to sign Dani Ceballos, who is not getting so much playing time on Real Madrid. So Real Betis are finding an option to sign Dani Ceballos from Real Madrid. So that is another transfer rumor which can happen in the summer transfer window. Everyone is waiting for the summer transfer window. Yeah. And Steven Gerrard, the Aston Villa, the ex, you can say the ex Liverpool player and ex Rangers manager and now the manager of Aston Villa, Steven Gerrard, one of the greatest midfielders. Yes. And Steven Gerrard, he revealed that uh, Aston Villa are wanting to sign a permanent deal with Philip Corino. Uh, Philip Corino is on a loan from Barcelona to Aston Villa. And they have to pay 40 million release clause. Uh, and yeah, it, I think it will, it will happen. Yeah, Philip Corino, Barcelona, now Corino will no more be fit in Barcelona because they have whole playing status. And Philip Corino, you know, he is born to play in the Premier League. Yeah, we have seen him pro uh, proving himself in the Premier League. He should play in the Premier League, he should not come to Barcelona because it will be it will not be good for his career, you know. And uh, Barcelona also should not uh, keep him because it's not good for even Barcelona as well. So Steven Gerrard reveals that Aston Villa are wanting to sign Philip Pellino on a permanent deal. And like Arsenal, they are offering Hector Bellin, who is uh, on a loan in Real Betis to Barcelona. This is another transfer rumor which is happening and I don't know if the building will join or not because Barcelona are wanting a proper right back and left back and he's a full back, he's a full back so he can fit, he may not fit because he's a Spanish player, he can fit over there but let's see what happens so guys, these are the most heated and the most um, like the you know the top news of transfers I have shared with you all hope you like this video, I will make a separate transfer video on especially on Barcelona we will discuss how the players will fit or not when they will come or they will, it is a flop for Barcelona, the transfer will be a flop or not. We will talk about that. Till then, subscribe to our channel, like this video and bye bye. See you again on the next video.